Hi, everyone. Thanks for coming out to uh, this lightning talk today. Uh, so I'm Travis Adair. I'm the CTO of Predibase. And today I'm going to tell you about some optimizations that we have that enable 50x faster fine tuning and 10 lines of YAML with Ludwig and Ray. So very sensationalist title, like what are we really trying to convey here? Uh, the main point is that with our declarative specification that we provide in Ludwig, we are able to provide a lot of really uh, tight optimizations under the hood that enable you to solve very task-specific use cases with LLMs in a very performant way that would otherwise require a lot of bespoke uh, code to, to get for yourself. And so just to kind of motivate this quickly, um, I think most of you here probably are aware of this, but you know, operationalizing training LLMs today does require a lot of highly specialized infrastructure at multiple levels of the stack. Um, here, we're talking about different capabilities, right? Like, obviously, you start with hosted LLMs <coughs> for inference, but then you have retrieval augmented generation, distributed fine tuning, all the way down to pre-training. But this also comes into play in terms of the physical stack of hardware, software, and the optimizations that you layer on top. So no matter how you look at it, getting the best performance um, for a use case is a, is a challenge with LLMs. And so the way that we try to wrangle this with Predibase, you know, there's an open source project that we developed called Ludwig. This came out of Uber AI uh, a few years back, and we since founded the company around this concept. And the idea behind Ludwig is to try to wrangle this complexity of how to figure out what's the right set of um, optimizations or techniques or modeling architectures that I need to use in order to solve a specific task that the user has. And so what we mean by task is if you, for example, you look at the configuration on the left, you see that the user has some input features like a sentence, uh, an image, and then they have some output features like a description that they want to generate. And so this is, a fu is fundamentally a you know, text generation problem that they're solving for. And so Ludwig allows you to you know, do this with like a Llama 7 billion model just with a single config here on the, on the left. But you know, we try to provide multiple levels of control down the stack as well. So if you want to say, well, I want to use a specific optimizer or learning rate or whatever, those parameters are fully available to you here um, in the configuration. And then if you want to go further and do hyperparameter optimization over multiple different large language models, that's all supported declaratively as well. And so you know, a few techniques to call out here that we have integrated into the system natively now. Low rank adaptation is one that's very popular for doing fine tuning without having to um, you know, fine tune the, all the weights of the model simultaneously. And this is something we enable with a single parameter in, in the config. You just say adapter equals LoRa, and you're good to go. And then similarly, um, if you want to do quantization, quantization aware training with QLoRa, for example, you know, all you need to do is say quantization bits equals four, and suddenly you're able to do this you know, quite complex uh, training process under the hood that does you know, mixed precision training, et cetera, um, without having to think about the implementation details. And running Ludwig is very straightforward as well. We have a Python API. We also have a command line utility that you can use. And so here's an example of how you would run Ludwig locally just by saying Ludwig train, you know, here's my config, here's my data set. And then running on Ray, which is the next part that we'll talk about, is also just as easy as you know, creating your Ray cluster and then submitting uh, that training command to the Ray cluster to be executed there. And then under the hood, we will figure out you know, that you're running on a Ray cluster and we should distribute the job across multiple workers, et cetera. The architecture for Ludwig on Ray is <coughs> quite uh, interesting under the hood. So we have these different stages of the Ludwig pipeline that exist, you know, pre-processing, training, model evaluation. And under the hood, those all get submitted as distributed jobs to Ray. So here we have, for example, Dask on Ray that's distributed pandas, that's processing very large data sets with Ray, uses the Ray object store as kind of a data broker between the different stages. We have a distributed training process that does distributed Python across multiple different workers. And then finally, batch evaluation at the end. And so all this is an abstraction that we built on top of Ray, so you don't have to think ab about you know, the actual actors that are being used under the hood. It's something you just get for free with the architecture. And so taking this back to the problem of LLM fine tuning, um, I want to talk a little bit about 
this aspect of flexibility and how declarative can help you solve it. And so one thing that I want to talk about is this notion of, you know, is there only one right way to do fine tuning to begin with? So for example, when most people think about fine tuning a model, they think of this kind of instruction fine tuning based workload where you have the, you know, LLM encoder as we call it, you also call it the backbone of the model that generates the hidden state. And then you have something like an LM head on top of that that generates the logits for what the next token prediction is going to be. And then you fine tune this to try to get the model to generate text that better matches your desired output, right? But that's actually not the only thing that you want to do when you're fine tuning. Oftentimes you have a classification task like sentiment analysis, you know, predict positive, neutral, negative, binary classification, regression, things like that. In which case, generating text is actually quite a lot of additional overhead for you. And what you'd probably rather do is just attach like a multi-layer perceptron that does the classification as a head on top and then fine tune that, right? And so specifically, you can even go as far as freezing the weights of the LLM backbone itself and only training this classification decoder to really speed up the process um, to enable you to get to a classification model without having to do this large fine tuning process over these billions of parameters. And so in the next slides, I'll talk about each of these in turn and when you'd want to use one and what optimizations we provide uh, for each of these scenarios. <clears throat> so, and the way that you do this in Ludwig is very simple as well. You know, to do this in Python, you'd have to write quite a lot of bespoke code to transition, like how do I add the LM head and then change my fine tuning process and cache the weights and whatever. We make it super simple for you. We just say, you know, if you want to do instruction fine tuning text to text, use the LM model type. You know, it's a text input, text output. If you want to do a classification problem with a large language model, you have a text input that uses this encoder as uh, the large language model and then outputs a categorical feature in the case of multi-class classification. And then if you don't want to fine tune the weights of the uh, large language model, you just say trainable equals false and you get all the benefits for free. So first, let's talk about text generation. So this is what most people think of when they think of fine tuning an LLM. And essentially, you know, all you do is, again, specify, you know, llama 2, 7 billion is the model. Trainer top type is fine tuning. You have a text output. And under the hood, what we do in Ludwig is we use deep speed to distribute this training job across multiple nodes. You know, this is something that I think a lot of people have heard about is, you know, this technology that enables this model plus data parallelism. Um, but, and you can configure it fully in uh, Ludwig on Ray by configuring this backend section of the config that makes it very easy to specify what type of offload you want to using, what type of precision you want to train with. But one particular optimization that we've added on top of this in Ludwig that we think is very uh, useful is this idea of zero copy model loading. And this is a specific optimization that allows you to reduce the memory pressure when loading the model weights. So initially, if you're going to do deep speed, the command line utility or something like that, you end up loading the model into host memory on every one of the worker processes before moving some subset of the weights to GPU memory. And that ends up causing a very huge amount of memory overhead, right? Because you're multiplying the number of copies of the model by the number of workers. What we do in Ludwig instead is we load the model once into host memory on the driver process and then put in the Ray object store which allows us to then zero copy read those weights into the GPU without having to make additional copies. So this can dramatically reduce the chance of having an out of memory error when training a model with deep speed. So that's one optimization we do on full fine tuning. Now let's talk about this idea of fine tuning for classification, which is where this 50x speed up comes from. And specifically, I want to talk about an optimization we've added called cached encoder embeddings. And the way this works under the hood is it's something that's really made possible by Ray in particular. And we say bird encoder here, you can imagine this to be any text generation model like Llama or GPT, et cetera. And essentially what we do is during the pre-processing stage where we're preparing the data for fine tuning, we actually run a forward pass over the data using the model itself, like the Llama model, et cetera, to generate those hidden state embeddings and then we write that out to a process data set statically. And then when we load the model for fine tuning, we actually replace that llama slash BERT model um, in the model architecture with this kind of pass through uh, module called this uh, skip encoder shim. 
And then we simply fine tune the rest of the model, um, only the multi-layer perceptron pieces, by basically just inserting the outputs directly in there without having to do the forward pass. So effectively what you can think of as happening here is that we pay the cost of a single forward pass to cache the, the hidden state embeddings once, write it out to disk, and then during each epoch of training, we only ever load those weights from disk, and then we can do multiple epochs very quickly and only ever fine tune slash do additional forward backward passes on this classification head on top. And what does this buy you? It actually buys you quite a lot in terms of the throughput of training. And so if we look at, for example, what happens if you train the full fine tuning version, which is what we showed at the beginning, you know, the training duration in minutes, uh, in this case was 52 uh, using just all the defaults. If we use automatic mixed precision, it goes down to 30. And then if we do it with the fixed weights, so this is where we're not fine tuning the weights of the, the large language model itself, we can get that down to 21 minutes. Um, so this effectively is like basically the cost of the forward pass on the large language model, plus the cost of the forward and backward pass on the, on the uh, classification head. And then you see if we do this cached encoder embeddings thing, we get this down to like 30 seconds, right? Which is a pretty crazy uh, speed up in practice. And that's all because we're essentially not paying the cost of running inference on the large language model outside of that very first initial time when we generate the embedding cache. And that's it. That's all I had to talk about today um, with about a minute to spare. Um, so please check out Ludwig if you're interested in learning more about this and interested in doing fine tuning for your own tasks. Uh, we were a pretty popular project, got 9,700 plus stars on GitHub, 140 plus contributors. Um, and uh, if you're also interested in a managed solution to doing um, fine tuning and serving of large language models and other task specific specialized models, definitely check out Predibase. Uh, it's a low code platform that enables you to do all of this um, with just a few lines of code. So thank you very much, and uh, go ahead and hand it over to the next person.